LinkedIn, the only platform where any person, for any reason, can complain to a manager. Just look, I found almost 100 million managers I can complain to about something. But that would take forever. So we need to filter down this list to find the right managers to complain to. You know, my dinner was overcooked tonight, so I want to complain to some restaurant managers. So let's filter our list down. So now we're down to about 2 million restaurant managers, but that's still a lot. Maybe I want to filter them down even further or keep track of them. Like what if I could scrape this list of managers and put it into my own spreadsheet or program? That way I can keep track of the managers I've complained to so I don't complain to them again. I don't want to, you know, really bother them or anything. Well, if you watch this video until the end, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Well, everything other than actually contacting the managers. I'm just joking about that part. So let's go back and look for some managers. I'm going to fiddle with these options now and we only find them in the United States. Do some more filtering. Now, once I'm happy and I want to begin scraping the data, all I have to do is begin recording my network traffic, which is the traffic that Google Chrome sends and receives to LinkedIn while I'm using the site. To do this is very simple. I just need to right click anywhere on the page and hit inspect. This will open up developer tools. It's not that scary, which means that it's now recording my network traffic. Now that we're recording, we just need to browse LinkedIn normally. So in this example, I'm just going to keep clicking on the next page of my search results. Go to the next one, go to the next one. Now I understand this is kind of annoying. Do you really expect people to sit here and click on next for eight hours a day? Well, maybe you'd be surprised. Unfortunately, though, LinkedIn most likely does not permit automated access of its site per its terms of service. So I can't legally advocate anyone go and use a robot or spider to get this data. You have to sit here and manually click on the buttons. Now, I'm sure there are people out there who have written Chrome extensions or other JavaScript friendly tools that kind of drive the web browser for you, but I can't really get into that. LinkedIn does offer an official API for other marketing purposes. We can get into that in another video. If you're interested, leave a comment. All right. Once you're done scrolling through all those 2 million managers, you can export the results to something called a HAR file, which stands for HTTP archive file. It's not a well-known file format, so it's usually been overlooked and difficult to work with. But the free tool I'm going to show you next is going to help with that. So you can download your data from Chrome into this HAR file and then re-upload it into my free tool and it'll show you how to get the raw data out. So just go to the network tab here under developer tools and then click this arrow called export HAR and you're done. So this here is the free HAR file web scraper that I offer. It can work with any HAR file like the one we just got from LinkedIn from any website and it'll process this file for you in your browser so nothing leaves your computer because HAR files have sensitive data and you need to be careful with them. It will group all of the requests and responses that have similar patterns. So like we just paginated through a bunch of search result pages, it'll group all that JSON data together so you can quickly access it. It'll also let you search through your data so you can find where things were while you were browsing the site where they are in the HAR file. So here, I'll just drag and drop the file and let's just search for the word manager. That way I know where the actual search results are. Now I can see the individual requests for each page of the search results. And on each page, I can download the JSON for that page. I just click here and now I have raw structured data from LinkedIn that I got for free using this tool. And it's not just LinkedIn search. If you keep browsing around the website and look at some companies or groups or company employees, you can try this HAR file scraper with whatever. You just browse the site normally, export a HAR file and upload it here and we'll analyze it for free. So what's in these JSON files? Well, let's browse around. It's basically everything that we saw visually on the LinkedIn site, but in structured data format. So I can browse around here. I can see people's full names. I can see their current title. I can see their past titles, where they worked. I can see how many connections they are away from me. And most importantly, I can see the URL to their LinkedIn profile so I can go and complain to them about something or do whatever you want with that profile. It's up to you and your specific use case. Maybe you're a recruiter, maybe you're looking for a job, or maybe you're looking for companies to market something to or build a lead list. 
You can use this for those purposes, assuming it's legal, obviously, and it complies with LinkedIn's terms of service. Don't spam people. So admittedly, these JSON files are a little bit more on the technical side of the spectrum. They're not really usable unless you have a developer, know a little bit about coding. So they're hard to really make much use out of here because traditionally what you need to do is write a program to go through all of these little responses in JSON format and combine them into one big list through all the page results we got. And then typically you'll want to export that into a CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet or something you can make better use of. Like I hinted to before, so we could upload the list to Google Sheets and keep track of who we contacted and who we didn't, anything else we may wanna keep track of with the list. So you're free to do this on your own, but because this is such a common problem, I built this into the Steve C data platform for premium users. Those users will see this parse button here on the top of the HTTP request group, where if they click this button, it will take all the JSON we found from the HAR file and automatically analyze it into a series of more flattened collections that we can download each collection in CSV format. Long story short, it'll make it easy to go from all these little messy JSON files into one single spreadsheet that we can put somewhere into a database or Excel or somewhere else. So here, if we just click this parse button, the Steve C platform will automatically analyze the JSON we got from the HAR file and convert it into these collections here. We can check out some of these and it looks like this is the right one I want because each row has its own title and I can download the expanded CSV, which will return me back all the parent rows from this subcollection, and this will have the profile information that I'm looking for. So I click here, I'll see the full profile information. I can see names, LinkedIn URLs, locations, current employer, past employer, etc. Now, because this is so useful, I wanted to document exactly where this data is coming from, also known as the endpoint from LinkedIn. Now, because we're not using an official LinkedIn API, we can't really go and reaccess this endpoint outside of the app because it may be considered unofficial access from LinkedIn. They could ban our account. We don't want to go there. We are simply documenting the endpoint that another person could look for in their HAR file if they were to upload it to the platform where they could expect to see all these search results. So this new endpoint feature allows me to save and contribute to the Steve C platform. Anyone is free to do this. It's totally free. You just need a signed up account with your email address. And the documentation I did here is now in the public URL I have below where you can see the endpoints that you can refer to and cross reference with your own HAR file. So just to reiterate, accessing these endpoints outside of the LinkedIn website or mobile app is a legal gray area. It could get you in a lot of trouble. What you can do though, is use the LinkedIn website in full accordance with their terms of service like we just did. While recording traffic, you can export that HAR file and then Steve C will process the HAR file. That way you're not accessing LinkedIn. Steve C is not accessing LinkedIn in any way that may violate its terms of service. So that's it. Complaining to people on LinkedIn is just a drag and drop away. You can try for yourself with the link below and you can start tracking your LinkedIn connections and people you want to outreach to more intelligently using the free tool or consider upgrading to the premium subscription if you need everything in CSV format. Please like if you learn something, subscribe if you want to see me scrape more sites, and let me know in the comments what your feedback is or if you have any other recommendations of websites you want to see me scrape. Thank you for watching and stay data driven.